This is part 75 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss debugging JavaScript in Google Chrome browser. Let's understand this using this webform1.aspx and forget what this page is doing. It's simply printing this number 30. Let's understand how this web page is doing that. So we have our webform1.aspx within Visual Studio. Notice that within the script section, we're calling this JavaScript function print sum. If you look at this page right here, we don't have this JavaScript function defined anywhere on this page. So it must be coming from the script.js file. So if you look inside that file, notice that we have our print sum function there. And if you look at what this function is doing, it is simply writing the return value of this function calculate sum to the web page using document.write. And if you look at what calculate sum function is doing, it has got two parameters, first number and second number. It's adding those two parameters together, storing the result in this variable and returning that variable back. So pretty straightforward JavaScript code there. Now let's understand how to debug this JavaScript code in Google Chrome browser. To debug JavaScript in Google Chrome, we use developer tools. And there are two ways to launch developer tools. One way is by clicking on this button, customize and control Google Chrome, as you can see from the tooltip. Within that, you should find more tools and within that, developer tools. That's one way. The other way is by using the keyboard shortcut F12. So let's press F12 and notice that it launches developer tools. At the moment, we don't have any JavaScript errors. And if you look at this developer tools window, it's docked at the bottom of the browser. If you want that to be docked on the right, simply click on this button. If you want that back at the bottom, click on the same button again. Now, let's introduce a deliberate JavaScript error. And I'm going to do that by removing this letter B from second number. OK, so let's save our changes. And I'm going to reload this page. And the way I'm going to reload this page is by pressing Control R. This will ensure that it is going to reload the JavaScript file rather than using the cached version. So when I press Control R, look at that the Google Chrome browser is not displaying any error information about the error. Okay, It simply doesn't display the number 30 that we expect it to display. To see those JavaScript errors, use developer tools. So I'm going to press F12 to launch developer tools. And look at what happens. Right here, you can see a cross and number 1 next to it. And if I hover the mouse over that, look at that. It says 1 error. And you can see that JavaScript error in the console tab right here within developer tools. The error says uncaught reference error, second number is not defined. And it also tells us the file that has got that JavaScript. So the file that has the JavaScript that caused the error is script.js file. And within that, the line number is 6. That's where we have this error. Now look at what's going to happen when I click on that file name. It's going to open that script.js file within Sources tab in the Developer Tools. So we have the script.js file open, and we have the entire JavaScript code that's present in that file. And look at what happened to this line number 6. We have a red squiggly underneath the line that has got that error. And if I hover the mouse over that, look at that, we get the actual error as well. Uncaught reference error, second number is not defined. Let's go fix that JavaScript error. And to do that, we simply have to introduce that letter B back. So let's save our changes. And let's reload this page by pressing Control r So we expect it to print 30. And there we go. Now let's see how to set a breakpoint in Google Chrome. To set a breakpoint, we simply have to click on the gray margin where we see line numbers in the Sources tab. So let's launch Developer Tools once again. So we are within the Sources tab. We have our script.js file open there. And let's say I want a breakpoint on line number 2 within that script.js file. To do that, I simply click on the gray margin there on that line number. Look at that. We have a blue tag there indicating that we have a breakpoint. Now, if we reload the page, the JavaScript execution is going to pause at that breakpoint. Now, to step through the code, we have various keystrokes. To step over, use F10. To step into a function, use F11. To step out of a function, use Shift F11 and to continue execution F8. So we can either use these keyboard shortcuts or we can use these buttons that are present within the developer tools. So we have those buttons right here. And when I hover the 
over the respective button look at what it says this button is for resuming script execution and the keyboard shortcut is F8 this is for step over F10 step into F11 step out shift F11 okay now look at this we are right here and on this line we are calling another function calculate sum so if you want to step into that function you press F11 so right now the execution you know is n calculate sum and it actually shows us the values that we have passed for first number and second number parameters look at that first number is 10 and second number if I hover over it we should actually see the value is 20 all right now I'm going to continue execution by pressing F8 so the execution has completed and it displays that number 30 there all right so we have a normal breakpoint here this breakpoint is hit every time okay now if you want to set a conditional breakpoint a conditional breakpoint is a breakpoint that's hit only when the specified condition is true let's say we want to set our conditional breakpoint right here on this line so I click on that so when we click on the gray margin we get a breakpoint now when we already have a breakpoint we right click on that breakpoint and select this option edit breakpoint and then we can specify our condition there if you don't have a breakpoint already you can simply right click on it and select add conditional breakpoint and then you can specify your condition there so basically what I want to do is when first number is equal to 20 only then I want to break at that point and then I press enter so look at the color of the tag there it's a it's an orange tag so that indicates that it's a conditional breakpoint at the moment if you look at what we are passing to first number it is 10 but our uh, condition is first number double equals 20 so when I reload this page it's not going to pause execution at that breakpoint okay now when we actually pass 20 as the value for the first number parameter that's when that condition is going to be true and the execution will pause at that breakpoint let's actually look at that in action so what I'm going to do is change the value here from 10 to 20 save the changes and I'm going to reload this page by pressing Control R look at that now the breakpoint is hit because first number is 20 and the condition that we specified in this breakpoint is true so that's conditional breakpoint I'm going to continue execution by pressing F8 and let's also discuss about this call stack panel this is an extremely useful tool which basically displays the complete execution path let's understand what we mean by that so we are within developer tools and if you look at this breakpoint you know we would like to understand let's actually reload this page now if you want to understand how we reached this point call stack is your best friend okay so how did we reach this breakpoint now look at this on webform1.aspx on line number 10 okay we are calling this print sum function right and you know once that print sum function is called that print sum function is actually present in script.js file so on line number 2 we are actually making a call to calculate sum and that's how we ended up on this line number six in calculate sum which is also present in script.js file so this call stack shows you the complete execution path which is very useful in understanding how we have reached this breakpoint thank you for listening and have a great day